Hi, I'm Steve Greenblatt with avnation.tv. Um, we're at Infocom 19, and I'm joined by Tim Burnham. He's the president of Tempest. So, Tim, tell me a little bit about what you're showing this year at Infocom. Well, Tempest's background has been the protection of expensive equipment used outdoors. So originally we started with lighting and we progressed about 10 years ago when I took the company over uh, into projector enclosures. So we do a great deal of um, protection of large projectors, predominantly outdoors, doing video mapping projects uh, all around the world in all kinds of different situations. And what are the, the the industry these days? There, we're not talking as much about products, but we're talking more about delivering experiences. What are some of the types of experiences that your product helps to facilitate? A lot of what we do is in the big theme parks, and uh, you only have to go to the ones that we all know about to uh, to see the uh, the amount of video mapping that's going on nowadays. Uh, some of which is just extraordinary, and we're very happy to participate in that. Uh, but it's, it goes beyond that. Uh, we're doing a lot in um, all kinds of uh, like tourist attractions, historic uh, buildings, and uh, even now recently in zoos. Uh, we've been working with the fabulous folk at uh, Moment Factory in Montreal on some projects, uh, including one that uh, I was lucky enough to be able to visit last year in Singapore, where um, they call it the Rainforest Lumina. And they, you, you go to the zoo after dark, which of course normally the animals go to bed and the people go home, but, uh, and, and the zoo is not making money uh, after dark. Uh, now you pay the zoo money and you go and you walk through this beautiful uh, kind of uh, trail uh, and you see gorgeous uh, lighting effects and projection and they have interactive uh, experiences where kids are jumping up and down on things and making animals pop up and down on the uh, uh, on the video and uh, it's, it's very exciting and uh, we're seeing this now propagate more around the world uh, in uh, we did uh, they did uh, one recently that we were happy to participate uh, in in um, Osaka at the castle and a very similar kind of thing so it's, uh, it's spreading out more and more. We're seeing uh, more of it. And, and of course, when you're using expensive and delicate uh, projection equipment uh, outdoors, uh, it needs to be pretty well protected. And uh, that's, that's our expertise. And we've, we've learned the hard way through, uh, there, there are a thousand ways to get it wrong, and we've tried most of them. Uh, there are one or two ways of getting it right, and uh, we have to hew very closely to that line to be successful. Well, they say if you're not making mistakes, you're not learning, right? That's right, and we, we've obviously learned a lot. <laughs> so uh, uh, tell me why Infocom is important to you. This is where we meet uh, a large number of our customers and specifiers, and uh, it is surprising the number of people who come by, look at our equipment and say, oh my goodness, I didn't know that we could use projection outdoors um, so th this is where we this is where we meet this and ISC uh, are the the two key uh, the two key meeting points between us and our customer base and the specifiers also so if you were to fast forward a little bit and look in the the, the direction that the industry is heading what, what are some predictions that that you have or where, where do you see the, the trends bigger brighter uh, longer longer life uh, the uh, the the transition uh, in our world to uh, laser projection has been uh, fascinating to watch and it opens up uh, new opportunities for example uh, we are working on a project in uh, Scandinavia uh, for uh, video projected advertising in subway stations and that is only practical with laser projection because if you have to go down there in the middle of the night and change a lamp every 750 hours, it gets very expensive. So if you've got 20,000 hours before you have to do that, the whole economic uh, basis changes. So we're seeing, um, I think, a huge amount of potential for uh, outdoor advertising. Uh, the other thing that uh, has become important uh, increasingly is the use of ultra short throw uh, projection as the lenses now become available for larger projectors. Now if I own a casino for example and I don't own, own the uh, lot across the street 
I can put these projectors over the top of my building or along the bottom of my building and I can project onto my own building, whereas before I would have had to uh, buy, the, buy out the guy across the street uh, to be able to do that. So th there's, uh, there's, a lot of, um, there's a lot of scope from some of these new uh, technologies that we're seeing. So for those that aren't here today or weren't able to make it to the show, how can they get learn more about Tempest and, or get in touch with you? They can go to our website, tempest.biz, and uh, it's all there. We have uh, lots of examples of the way our product is used and, of course, a lot of information about the products themselves, and we'd be happy to have people go on board and uh, check us out, tempest.biz. Great. So thank you for joining me. Um, this has been Tim Burnham. He's from Tempest. And I am Steve Greenblatt with AV Nation. Uh, to find out more about AV Nation or our coverage of Infocom and other trade shows, visit avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.